Okay, I lied. One more video. Um, this has to do with patents. I'm teaching a friend of mine how to file small entity patents, teaching my uh, grandson how to file small entity patents, although he's not putting much effort into it. Um, last time I looked, it's, you know, you're talking $400 to file a small entity patent. There was a time when you needed to produce a working model of your device to the patent office. That is no longer the case. Um, there was a time when you needed legalese to explain your device to get rid of ambiguity. That is no longer the case. You can use boilerplate language. You can use photographs, uh, non-intricate drawings, and you no longer have to produce a working model of your idea. I told people, you notice invent help went away, right? I used to do a hundred videos against invent help warning people. I had 50, 500,000 views or something like that on those videos before I deleted them, telling people, stay away from invent help. It's just a group of lawyers trying to sucker you, okay? Um, an idea that you have, if it's a utility patent, it's worth pursuing. If it's a design patent, most of those are not worth pursuing, which is why Amazon, when you see them, right, somebody will come on there with a, a new design for a handbag or a backpack or whatever, and it's selling really well. Amazon will come and make one almost like it. They'll change a little bit here, they'll change a little bit there, but basically it is your concept being used, and there's nothing you can do about it. A utility patent is completely different than a design patent. If you tried, there's, it would be impossible today to come up with, except for one idea that I have, I believe, it would be, it'd be very difficult to come up with a utility patent for any kind of golf club. No, see what I'm saying? Or tennis racket or fishing pole. You know, certain things that, you know, there's, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different pat patents, design patents for golf clubs and fishing poles, okay? There's even some for bowling balls, uh, but not utility patents, okay? That would be the first golf club that was ever invented for its specific use. That's a utility patent. But never give up on your ideas. Your idea might be something that everybody wants, the way I look at it is, you know, if I really want and need one, there's probably other people that want and need one too. And if there's enough of them, okay. Now, the patent office will look at your patent and say, okay, this is a patentable idea and it is a utility patent, but we can see that only two people on the planet <laughs> are going to want or need one of these. Uh, they won't, they will deny your, uh, your utility patent. They'll deny it. But if they look at it and it looks useful, okay. Um, an interesting story is that I think it was 1870. 1870. I think it was 18, no, maybe if that, that date comes to mind, 1870, that the attorney general or the, the head of the patent office at that time was going to close the United States patent office because... In his opinion, everything that had ever been invented was done. That there were no more new or, <laughs> or fresh ideas that anyone could come up with because everything that could be invented had already been invented. Okay? This is the guy who was in charge. All right? It just shows you the fallibility of humans. But never give up on your idea and learn how to file Small entity patents. Go to the USPTO, look, look up small entity patents, and you'll find out that you can patent your little idea for fairly cheaply, and you don't need lawyers, okay? Now, if you have something that you believe is going to be very, very, very special, you might want to get an attorney to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. I know I had to pay on some of my patents like one on one of my patents, I, uh, my, my attorney used the term Velcro 
without putting the copyright sign on it. And the motherfucker tried to charge me $500 to correct that. And I went, that's your fault. You're a goddamn patent attorney. You're, you should know that you, you were supposed to say copyrighted next to the term Velcro instead of hook and loop. So they're all crooked. Uh, fucking patent uh, attorney. Patent attorneys are all crooked. Okay, that's that's another thing. And why, at, at all costs, if you can avoid it, avoid them. Okay.